I decided to take part in the study because of my interest in it, not knowing as much as I thought I should, basically because I thought I might one day have Alzheimer's uh, because um, of my grandmother. And uh, also I'm experiencing a little bit of um, the symptoms myself and I see them in my 85-year-old mother. I have been a participant in the Alzheimer's disease study since 2016. I learned part of it through friends of mine who were already in the program. My husband's family had Alzheimer's and he shared with me the fact that his father told him on your mother's side when any adult reaches 60 they show senility and senility was the word that was used at that time relating to Alzheimer's. What's interesting about uh, talking to my friends about being involved in this Alzheimer's study is uh, one, one in particular I remember uh, discussing it uh, in a very close friend and she says, well, why are you doing that? You don't have Alzheimer's. I said, well, you know, I don't know whether I'll have it or not. I don't know whether I have it now, but I could potentially have it. So it's important to me personally to know what to expect. Some of my friends are positive about it. Some of my friends are negative about it. Part of that has to do with the past history of African Americans with research. One recently is the Henrietta Lick's book that came out not too long ago, and prior to that, it was Miss Washington's book about apartheid in research with African Americans. So because of that, some of my friends feel we have been duped historically and they are not positive about the research at this time. More and more information is coming out and I say I keep in touch with UC Davis and they let me know when new conferences are coming up. And I invite people to participate. And one of the things is when medical results come out, often African American people are not involved because they do not participate in research. And so when you talk to them like that, and they say, I'd like to learn more about the project. And I also have involved our church health cabinet, and we participate and try to get more individuals to participate. The barriers that I feel uh, us as an African-American community have, first of all, is we might not want to know. You know, I, I think that uh, we probably put it in the back of our minds and it's like, do I really want to address this? It's not going to affect me, but oh yes, it does affect us. I think the barriers for African-Americans in in the research program has been not taking advantage of research and workshops and information in the community. I think a lot of people, because they do not know, tend to take care of their family members at home rather than getting out, seeking out more information. So that's why it's important for me. I, I think it's a wonderful opportunity to learn what I've learned about the Alzheimer's program and to become a part of the research. Lack of education about the disorder and the distinction between a neurological disorder and a psychological order that both 
black and white communities still use the term, my mother's not crazy. The reason I agreed to the brain donation is because although it might not help me, it could help someone else. I have seen two or three of my family members go through Alzheimer's. I think it's important that we do enough research to find out how to better help people in our community. We need to educate, and the only way to educate is to do research.